Hello and welcome back to this video interview in conjunction with Reboot. We are interviewing individuals from the financial services industry that are making a mark on the corporate world. So today I'm joined by Suresh Mistry, Head of Sustainability at Alkati. Thanks so much for coming in today, Suresh. So let's get to it. First of all, how have you got to where you are today? Wow, I'd like to say masses of personal uh, commitment and, and drive. Uh, look, um, within the financial services industry, I've had, I'm lucky enough to have had two careers within mm -hmm. the financial services industry. Uh, when I first started in the 90s, um, I was in retail banking, um, and it was a very unusual place for an ethnic market, particularly in the management space. I was in, I was in the kind of operational side, I was in management, mm. and I was quite an unusual character to have. And I realized at the time that actually I just didn't fit in. Okay. And one of the things I did was leave the industry at that time because I didn't really see an opportunity for me. That's such a shame. Yeah. Um, and then I went into other industries, other sectors, and then I came back in through asset management and, 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 and setting up Alquity. And I realized at the time that actually setting up my own business and working with colleagues that treated me on, on what I did rather than who I was actually was the best way forward for me. So avoiding that large corporate culture in financial services, staying with in that more entrepreneurial area is where I believe has been what's been successful mm. for me. Yeah, I'm really glad you got to pursue what you wanted to do. Um, so what would you say are the barriers for progression? I mean, perhaps why, why, you, why you left and what, what can we be doing to, to challenge that? Yeah, I mean, the industry has changed a lot since uh, when I left originally, we're talking the 1990s, and, and you know, there were clear barriers at the time, and just based on who, who, how you looked. I think today, um, there are le less of those barriers. I think um, what we have now is the barrier is less your ethnicity, but more of your social mobility. I think social mobility is a barrier now. Um, I think um, the fact your background doesn't fit with with the organization or where, where you're applying is more of an issue today than necessarily the color of your skin. Um, but saying that, social mobility and color of skin are often quite mm. closely connected. So I think it's about, you know, companies talk about diversity, but embracing diversity across the, the economic spectrum as well as in, in other areas. And I think that's where you will actually encourage more people from the ethnic minorities and, and other groups to actually participate in this, in this great industry that we have. And what about for the individual? What tips could you give them to um, push forward? Demand to be treated on the quality of your work rather than who you are. And that's difficult because you can't make often make that judgment. But you've just got to be, you know, put the effort in, put the work in. Um, and I think it's about not being embarrassed about who you are. And, and your background. I think one of the things, I mean, even for today, I put this shirt on specifically for today because I think colour is often one of the things that's neglected in this industry. We, I walked through the city this morning and everybody's in white shirts, blue suits, grey mm. suits, etc. And if you go to an ethnic, um, you know, an Indian wedding or a, a black wedding, it's just a riot of colour. And, and I like wearing colour. But in work, you don't. And I think what, what we need to do is, is learn to be ourselves. And if that means wearing a different color, being standing out, don't be afraid of doing that. Mm. Because this is about celebrating diversity and using that diversity to make a difference. Mm. And what I'd encourage employers who are looking to create an environment in which their employees feel welcome is to celebrate that diversity, whether that's through festivals or whether it's through you know, mentoring the individuals from ethnic backgrounds or, or different backgrounds into their organization by allowing them to be themselves. Mm. I love that. Thank you very much for sharing that. Um, thanks so much. Great to have you in for no this interview. Thank you.